What follows is a brief construction montage. Well, that's a failure again. I'm bummed. 24 hours later. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours and see what happens. But I'm not terribly optimistic at all. Flavor's about right. All right. Well, folks, <laughs> there you go. That's a fail. I'm bummed. Two days later. Folks, well, welcome back to a new episode of Chuck's The Cooking. And I have to admit, I'm a failure. And the reason why I say that is because I have made three attempts now to make a hack of Miracle Whip. And so far, all three of them have been total failures. My last attempt, the flavor is spot on. However, my problem has been that my emulsification between the oil and the eggs just has not occurred. And so I'm back for my fourth attempt. <laughs> so at any rate, let's get turned around. Let's see where we're going with this. All right, so the first thing I need to do, I need to get three eggs separated. And in case you don't know how to do it, I'm getting ready to show you. So here we, here we go. I'm gonna crack it open and we wanna get the yolk out of it. We don't want the whites and so I've got my egg basically cracked in half here there you go you see how it's pulling itself out and then we're going to kind of toss that yolk back and forth and the white will fall out of it now don't worry if you don't get every little bit of the white out of it it's not going to hurt anything so there's one It's also not going to hurt if you bust your yolk in the process of sloshing it back and forth here like that. There it goes. There's two. Pretty well got it. So there's three. All right, so let me get my camera turned around. All right, so I'm going to use the Gordon Ramsay method of making mayonnaise here. And mayonnaise is basically going to be the first step of making this Miracle Whip. So we're gonna turn on our, we're gonna turn on our food processor onto a low for now. And we're gonna slowly drizzle our oil And so, once again, it has become clear that I have failed in making mayonnaise. Later that same evening. Okay, folks, so as you saw, failure number four. We're gonna give number five a try here. What I've got here now 
is one unseparated, uh, one whole egg and two separated eggs and about an ounce of water. And now I've got a cup and a half of oil sitting here. So we are going to begin by giving this a little go here. So this is just egg and a little bit of water. Now we're going to begin drizzling our oil in very slowly. One eternity later. Holy cow, folks, I think we finally got it. Look at that. That looks about like mayonnaise. Now, and right here, I've got two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I've also got a half a teaspoon in this of salt. Now then, I've got one tablespoon of lemon juice. All right, so now I am, we're gonna move over here to the stove. We got more, more things to do with this yet. All right, folks, so I've got myself a heavy bottom saucepan here. I'm gonna put a half a cup of water in here. And then I need two tablespoons of cornstarch. And this definitely needs to be cold water. If you put cornstarch into hot water, you're asking for trouble. There's one and there's two. That's going to be a thickener here in just a moment. Got my whisk here and I'm going to see how already that how gummy almost that tries to turn and in hot water it gets much worse. Now then into that I'm going to add a teaspoon, there's a teaspoon of mustard powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to put all that into there. And then if I was going to be making, my or making a standard um, Miracle Whip, this would be the end of what I would be adding to it. But if you know me, I like a little heat in my food. And so I'm going to be adding a couple extras here. And what I've got is a half a teaspoon of white pepper and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So in they go. Throw that around. Now, and as of yet, I have not put any heat onto this. So I'm gonna turn my heat here to, oh, about a medium, maybe just slightly lower than a medium. And I'm gonna get myself a spatula handy. I'll need it here in a minute. Now when this begins to thicken, it's going to thicken in a hurry. And I mean a real hurry. It'll take a minute, but once it gets there, watch out. Now the reason why I put my spices here instead of into my mayonnaise over there is because the heat is going to draw the flavors out of those spices much better than if I had put it into that cold mixture over there. If 
By the way, I used sunflower oil in this because it is a light oil with virtually no flavor to it. As of yet, it's still pretty much water consistency, but as this starch begins to heat up in here, it is really, in fact, it's starting right now. If you look down in there, you can see it. In fact, I'm gonna raise it up off the heat just a little bit. Here, can you see that? I mean, that really thickened up in a, I mean, in a flash. Did you see that? Uh, I think that's plenty thick enough now to be adding into our mayonnaise over there without thinning it down. Okay, so I'm gonna begin adding this in just a little at a time. For one thing, we got egg in there. And this is, this is hot enough that it's steaming. Maybe I need a spoon instead of the spatula. And we don't want to cook or curdle our eggs in there. Oh darn. I missed a couple additions here. I forgot two tablespoons of vinegar. We're gonna add that in here, into our mix right there. It should have gone into my mix for the, um, it should have gone into the mix with the starch and everything here. Maybe that's why it thickened up so much on me. Into the mix. Now this is not going to be the same color as Miracle Whip, and I was totally prepared for that. I don't know how they go about bleaching out the paprika and everything. This is gonna be more akin to the color of, say, Thousand Island dressing. Okay, we are getting there, folks. I wanna clean that little bit of stuff off there. Like so, get it down in there as best possible. Maybe I'll use a knife or something, I don't know. I hope you can tell I'm fairly thrilled that this came together the way it did, because I am. <laughs> I mean, after all, it was five attempts, and I'll just tell you, I'm not one that takes failure lightly. I'm a pretty passionate person. And if I feel like something's worth doing, then I want it to succeed. And basically, this became a challenge. But I was not gonna allow it to whoop me. All right, so there you go. That's a pretty nice consistency there. I think I'll take it. It'll probably thicken up as it cools down and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for an hour or so we'll come back and then we'll give it a taste testing all right folks so into the refrigerator this is gonna go for a couple hours we'll be back all right folks so it's been in the refrigerator for a couple hours now now I am so there you are it's got that nice little wiggle to it there. Okay. Now then. Look at that. Now then. 
After I turned off the camera, I came back to it and I added one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And if you look on the ingredients on Miracle Whip, xanthan gum is a ingredient in Miracle Whip. And what it is, it's a thickening agent and it's actually made from the bodies of <laughs> some sort of uh, some sort of a um, microbe type thing. And at any rate, it did make it a little thicker, made it actually quite a lot thicker, but it is not necessary at all. It was perfectly fine. I just wanted to take it that one little step further so that it would have that cling kind of to it like regular Miracle Whip does. All right, folks, so let me get turned around here. We're gonna give it a taste. All right, folks, so I've got my knife here that has been coated with the faux Miracle Whip. Very nice, very creamy, good mouthfeel to it. I have a little bit of a texture to it. I had I had a bite to it. It I had it probably came from either the garlic powder or the onion powder. It has that just a little bit of a tartness to it, like Miracle Whip does compared to mayonnaise. It also has a little bit of heat to it from that cayenne pepper and the, and the white pepper. Exactly what I was looking for. Folks, I'm very satisfied. I think if you give this a try, I think you'll be satisfied too. If you don't like the hot, don't put the hot in it. That's all there is to it. And do me a favor. If you like what you're seeing, down there in the bottom right hand corner, hit like and subscribe and stay tuned. There's always more to come. And thanks for watching.